The Cavalier King Charles is a charming and full of character little breed. Perhaps you're thinking of adding one to your family or you're simply interested in learning more about this wonderful dog. Well, stick around because in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some key breed facts about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Welcome back to the Fenrir Spaniel Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video and look at some of the key facts you need to know about this breed. Our first fact, takes us back to the origin of the breed. By normal breed standards, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a relatively new breed. It was first bred a century ago. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel's origins are based on the toy spaniel that existed for many centuries and was known as a popular companion for royalty and other nobility. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel as we know them are a recreation of the King Charles Spaniel, a popular toy spaniel that was favourite of Mary Queen of Scots and her grandson Charles I and great grandson Charles II. Charles II being the one to name them King Charles Spaniels. It's said that King Charles II never went anywhere without at least two or three of these little Spaniels. He even decreed that the Spaniels would be allowed in any public place, including the Houses of Parliament. This decree still apparently stands in effect to this current day. Our next fact is that the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are thought to be generally easier to train than other Spaniels. They're gentle, loving and easygoing, but also very intelligent and understanding. They're always eager to learn new things and please their owners. This makes them excellent little dogs for participating in activities like obedience and agility. They'll greatly enjoy the challenge and these are both great for keeping your Cavalier King Charles Spaniel happy and mentally stimulated. It's always important to remember that your Spaniel growing into a confident, well-rounded adult relies on them having received plenty of socialisation and consistent training right from the moment you bring them home. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels don't respond well to harsh tones, so make sure you always keep training positive. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviourist I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now, so I can't wait to see you over there. Another important fact about this breed is that they're one of the largest of the breeds in the toy category. This means that although they were bred as companion dogs, they're often as athletic and as true sporting dogs. They enjoy plenty of exercise and activities such as flyball, hiking and running. As a general rule, this breed needs an average of 13 minutes walking a day, as well as plenty of playtime to keep them happy and mentally stimulated. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are very people orientated and are happiest when spending time with you or your family. They want to be included in activities and outings and will not be happy if left on their own for long periods of time. This brings us to our next fact, which is that the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel can often suffer from separation anxiety. This is really important to be aware of if you're considering this breed because they're not suited to homes where someone's not around for most of the time. Make sure you teach your puppy from an early age that it's okay for them to be alone for an hour or so, but always build this up in stages so as not to cause them stress. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a fairly energetic breed that need plenty of outdoor exercise and love a cuddle on the sofa when they return from their walks. They're incredibly affectionate and are a wonderful addition to a family environment. They make an excellent companion, not only for you, but also for small children. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two Spaniel videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Spaniel Show.